What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, I gotta say something, man. Y'all gotta watch who you get your advice from, and I don't mean this in even a negative way, but there's a piece of advice that I'm seeing a lot more frequently lately, and by lately, I kind of mean maybe over the last four, five, maybe six months, and I think artists have to be able to take it with a grain of salt. Here it is, and I'm gonna put it into context. What is the advice? Singles are better to drop than albums or EPs. Now, I understand where it's coming from. We all know that in this era of music, right, singles are a huge driver of streams, especially when we consider consumer behavior, the way platforms are working, yada, 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 yada. I get it, I get it, I get it. And people are telling a lot of artists that, yo, so you need to drop singles. And one of the huge reasons I hear people talk about doing that is so you don't waste music and all those things. But at the end of the day, a lot of the people who are saying that are working for labels or have some experience with labels where a lot of the artists that they're working with are at labels. And there's nothing wrong with that. This advice is not incorrect advice. However, there's a lot of context that is required because an independent artist needs to move differently than an artist at a label that should be implied, that should be assumed. However, we forget to consider what perspective a lot of people are coming from when they give their advice. So let me just break it down from my personal perspective. Yes, when we're talking about hacking algorithms, getting the most out of one song just for your resources and doing things when it comes to the charts, then pushing a single is extremely beneficial. And there's some more reasons I could cite, but those are just a few of them. But when you're talking about an independent artist, right? I always talk about the value of time and the value of attention. So the thing is, once you get people's attention, we always talk about that catalog, That's, that rule never like not applies. Once you get people's attention, you need to be able to hold that attention for as long as possible, right? You have that window of time to sell. How are you gonna convince them? How are you going to close the deal? How much music will they be able to consume before they say, you know what, you know, this person isn't for me. And if you only have a couple of songs, we already know where that's gonna go. And for those of you who have seen me talk about the fact that you should drop singles and I do promote dropping singles as a strategy, here's the clarity on what I'm referring to usually when I'm talking to artists and talking about, hey, you know, you should drop some singles for a while. It's always around the idea of them getting better at marketing themselves. When I say focus on one song and now you're building your systems around that song, you're building your experience and ability to market because a lot of these artists, right, independent artists are actually doing their own marketing. So that gives you an opportunity to not just waste and, and gives you the opportunity to learn. So I'm talking more about marketing singles one at a time versus marketing a project at a time. That's a slight difference, but you do want to make sure that you're building a catalog relatively quickly and the more quality music that you have when one of these songs finally does take off, the better off you will be. Now, of course, you might wanna actually save some songs that you feel like should be hit hits, because at the end of the day, you wanna make sure those get certain amount of attention, but if you record 100 songs, you should have a solid, you know, let's just say 20, I'm gonna throw a number out there, right? You should have a solid 20 to 40 good songs that are worth putting out versus maybe the five songs or the two songs that you think might be huge songs, and I'm gonna wait and hold these off, right? There should be other music that should be good enough to at least start building some fans. And again, bringing it back to the beginning and this whole idea of just dropping singles, just dropping singles because it, it works better for the streaming era and all that kind of stuff. That has nothing to do with the general artists, the independent upcoming artists because they don't have the resources to actually leverage that thing, right? They don't have the resources or even the care to be thinking about charting or gaming the streaming system. That's far less important to an artist. What you need to be focusing on is building a real fan base, especially if you want to move as an independent artist, not just until you get a deal, but move as an independent artist like forever, 
right? Or for a very long period of time until you find something that makes sense. You need to be thinking a lot more about what is going to get me the most fans for the least amount of action versus how do I game this system and get certain things popping virally? So no, it's not a lie. It's not horrible advice. And it's not even coming from a bad place when people say just drop singles, but a lot of these people are thinking more so from a general industry perspective when you think from an indie perspective, especially a lone indie artist perspective, Oftentimes, a lot of things are counterintuitive to what those people have to move like at the labels to become successful. They have a lot of factors that do not apply to you and vice versa. So, as always, this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.